Well, as the new year starts, Phoenix is ushering in a new era of leadership with Mayor elect Greg Stanton being sworn in tomorrow. And he's live in our studios with us this morning. ABC 15's Kimberly Chang here to talk about what he plans to do in the next few months ahead. Good morning, Kimberly. Connie, good morning. Well, either you live in Phoenix, work there, or you visit. It affects us in every which way. Joining me live now, Mayor elect Greg Stanton. Good Thank morning. You for being here. Happy my, New Year. My honor to be here. Happy New Year to you and all the people of Phoenix. It's going to be a great year. All right. We have so many questions for you, but first off, let's start with changes that residents can expect to see right away when you take office. Well, you're going to see a lot more transparency. I want people to have full confidence that the decisions at the city are made in their interests, not special interests. So meetings are going to be at a more convenient time. We're going to put everyday citizens on boards and commissions, not insiders, not lobbyists. Documents are going to be available on the internet in a searchable uh, format. Everything's going to be on TV. People are going to feel much closer to the city government. We make better decisions the more people are involved in their city government. I can't wait. Let's talk about jobs because so many people have, are out of work right now, and you've talked a lot about bringing uh, several different industries here. What's the timeline that we're looking at, and how are you going to make this happen? What's your plan of action? Sure. First off, we are in tough times. Too many people are hurting out there, too many people looking for work, too many families that are uh, hurting right now. And so this economy has really hit our community hard. You need a city government that's focused in on helping people that are in need. Number one, we need to make sure that we use the purchasing power of the city to support local business and local people. We buy a lot of stuff, and the stuff that we buy, which is the taxpayer's money, should be used to support local business, local industry. Long term, we need smarter decision making when it comes to economic development. No more growth for growth's sake. This up and down roller coaster economy where when the rest when the country goes through a recession, we kind of slide back a little further. That's not acceptable. We need to have a focus on higher wage jobs, a higher educated workforce, more sustainable industries, smart economic development that will sustain us for the long term. So you gotta have a short term plan and a long term plan. That's exactly what I bring to the table. All right. We want to talk about tourism because we were just saying you're no as the guy who wants to promote downtown and you say it's not all about downtown you're focusing on other areas tell us about that well first off tourism is an important industry today's the fiesta bowl uh, the fiesta bowl parade was the other day perfect weather for it. the rest of the country is going to see not only the beautiful lifestyle that we have here but they're going to hear about the great economic opportunity we want to be an entrepreneurial uh, community. So, yeah, I'm going to focus in on downtown. There's a lot of great things happening downtown. Medical education, bioscience, a lot of the advanced uh, economic development that we're doing is happening downtown. But I'm a mayor who's going to focus in on the opportunities, wherever the opportunities take me. The opportunity to create higher wage jobs, the opportunity to create a higher educated workforce. I'm going to take that wherever, whatever part of the city those opportunities are, that's where I'm going to go. So, we need Maryvale to be strong. We need South Mountain Village to be strong. We are one city, one neighborhood. If any neighborhood isn't strong, then the whole city isn't strong. That's my attitude. So you're going to see me focus on the entire 500 square miles of our beautiful city. All right. And tomorrow you're officially sworn in. What time? 10 a.m. Today is my last day as a volunteer, as a private citizen. Tomorrow at 10 a.m., Governor Rose Mofford will swear me in as the next mayor of the city of Phoenix. I can't wait to get started to work closely with this community, with the council, with the city staff, with the business leaders, faith community. We're going to all come together and move the city forward. And, you know, obviously I'm excited. I can't wait to uh, get this thing going. Fantastic. Congratulations Thank again. Thank you for being here this morning. A lot to look forward to as we head into 2012. Well, we're in 2012 now. I almost forgot. Thank you again. <laughs> Thank you. Connie, back to you.